All right, hey guys, welcome to another episode of the Ali Show, and today we have a, another very special guest. Um, she's actually the first female boxer that we have on, um, Tasmin Benny. Did I get your name right? Yep, that's, yeah, right. that's the one. So <laughs> it's not too complicated of a um, last name for for you. So I hope I, I didn't butcher your name or anything like that. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's nice to um, to have you on, Tasmin. You're the first um, actually female boxer that we had. Oh, well, we had. Um, Michelle, but she was MMA, so you're kind of more focused into boxing. Um, so, Tasman, um, tell us a little bit about yourself. Um, so, I started boxing when I was about 16. Wow. Yeah, and um, yeah, just from I started because um, I wanted to get fit for netball, but oh, wow. then I decided that I actually liked boxing a lot more than netball. Wow. Yeah. Oh, that's pretty interesting. So, were you playing like um, for a team um, back where you? Because uh, you you're not from Hamilton, eh? Um, what, what's the name of the place that you're from? Um, Turua. Turua. Yeah. Yep, yeah, and that's uh, somewhere in Thames, was it? Yeah, by Thames. Ah, okay, that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. So, so initially you started off. That's pretty. That's like a pretty weird jump. Um, like yeah. starting off from netball and then coming into boxing, and who was the one who? who kind of taught you in the beginning? Um, well, my dad, he was actually like training for corporate fights and stuff with his friends, um, like um, Cairo's brother, mm. Sean George. Oh, okay. Yeah, we were training in um, his garage. And oh, so I wow. just went and started training with them. Oh, wow. Yeah. And then you just, you know, you just gravitated towards it and you pretty much. So from when you first started, like a... Uh, when when did you decide like to get serious, you know, with boxing? Um, they kind of like my dad and Sean kind of pushed me into the ring a little bit, like with my first fight. They're like, yeah, just have a go, like start sparring and stuff. And then, yeah, I won my first fight. And like once I put my like arm up, I was kind of just hooked. Oh. wanted to fight again. <laughs> wow. You just like kept going. Yeah. Oh, man, that's pretty cool. And um. Yeah, it's pretty. It's pretty interesting. Like the, um, from what I know, you're from like a quite a small town, and um, is is there like a, a bit of a, a a boxing following over there or? Um. Not really. Well, not in Turua. Like yeah. kind of in Thames. I think there was one, like quite a bit before my time, like another boxing gym. But then they stopped going, and then Sean started a new gym. Never surrender. Oh, yeah. never surrender. That's yeah. What, oh, wow, that's a pretty cool name for a gym. Yeah. yeah. And so that's where your dad went in and then yeah. kind of joined. Oh man, that's pretty cool. Um, yeah. So how have you been um, lately with you know how everything's going on and uh, like you know how are you reacting to this whole situation? Um, it's hard because I train up in Auckland. Like I was with Never Surrender, and then I started going with um, Cam Todd up in Auckland. And I can't go up to training at the moment because they're all on level three. Mm. So I've just been training down here. Yeah, so it gets a bit tough because um, also you actually go there to train like on weekdays or, or? Yeah, three times a week I go on Tuesdays, Wednesdays and Saturdays oh, okay. usually. Yeah. And um, so you, you kind of um, or work around your work as well. We'll get, we get to that in a second. But um, yeah, what I wanted to share with the uh, people who are watching as well is you actually the first um, female in New Zealand to get a medal at the uh, Commonwealth Games. Yeah. Wow, that's a pretty big accomplishment. And um, how, how, do you, how do you feel? So that was two years ago, was it? Two years ago. And so you started in 2016, am I right? Yeah. So two years after you just first picked up a pair of gloves and you represented the country at the Commonwealth Games. That must have been a pretty big accomplishment for you. How do you, how do you feel about that? What was that whole experience like? Um, it was pretty amazing. Like, yeah, I didn't, I didn't expect mm. to win a fight or, <laughs> you know, like medal or anything like that. It was more for like the experience. Yeah, I was just shocked to be going to the Commonwealth Games, to be honest. Like, it was, yeah. So you, you, you were not expecting that at all? No. Uh, so you just pretty much just yeah. like uh, you were competing um, every uh, every month, was it? Did How often did they have the uh, the amateur fights? Um, 
They have them quite often. Mm. We went to quite a few, but um, my weight, like, there's not that many girls in it. So, what, yeah. what weight are you fighting at? Um, I fought it f- under 48 when I went to the Com Games, but now I'm under 51. Under 51. Wow. Yeah. Wow, it's awesome. So, like, um, man, that's pretty impressive. Like, I'm, I'm still quite, you know, I'm still quite surprised. Like, you know, just two years into just starting and, you know, you've gone up to go to and fight at the Commonwealth Games. So that's pretty impressive. Like, you know, it, it, sh- it just goes to show that, you know, if you put in like the work and, you know, you're dedicated to it and you just continue learning, like you could achieve pretty cool stuff, yeah. you know? And um, so going to the Commonwealth Games, uh, what was that experience like for you, like over there, you know, and uh, share, could you, do you have any interesting stories to share about that one? Hey you, don't forget to subscribe, like, and share this video. It was pretty cool. Like, I didn't realize, like, they make a whole village for, uh, yeah, for, like, all the competitors. So, wow. yeah. Mm. You're in where was this again? Sorry. It was a... Gold Coast. Gold Coast. Yeah, yeah. that's right. Mm-hmm. So, they made, like, a village there and pretty much all the... Everyone yeah. from everywhere kind of stays around there. Oh, that's pre- pretty cool. Yeah. Mm. There's, like, huge buildings and stuff and there's, like, smoothie places and ice cream places <laughs> that are all free. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, I don't know if the ice cream is any, um, you know. Is, yeah, I couldn't helps, have any. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, that sucks. Uh, they put the free ice cream there. Yeah. But you just can't have any. Oh man. And um, the the like a uh, in terms of food and all that. How, how is that? Like you know. Um. Yeah, they have like this big cafeteria, and it's got like different styles of food from like different countries and stuff. Oh okay. Yeah. So they actually cater to the different crowds as well. Yeah. Oh, no, it's that's real cool. Awesome, awesome. What was that? What was that feeling like? You know, when um, you won like a medal at the games, and what was running through your head at that time? Um, I was just really proud of myself. I think. And, and yeah. you should be. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but yeah, it just makes me want to keep going and like keep learning. Like I still have a lot. I just feel like I still have a, like a long way to go. Still, mm-hmm. yeah. But like it's pushing me, like driving me. Definitely, definitely. Yeah. So you're working uh, like full time as well uh, while you're pursuing, you know, uh, your dreams in boxing. You know, um, tell us a little bit about like uh, work, or, like what you do. Because I, I, I saw um, a, a video recently that you um, actually work uh, at a at a at a grease factory. Yeah, oil like an oil company. Oil Aegis company. Oil, yeah. 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 Oh, that's pretty cool. So yeah. what, what exactly do you have to do? Like, uh... um, So it's basically just like labeling and filling and stuff like that. Yeah. It's not, yeah. It's more for um, my boss. He's like, he's very good at like letting me off when I need to go off. Mm. Yeah. So it's pretty much like um, they work, you know, you kind of work around training and try to get your hours in, try to earn. Yeah. Because it's not cheap as well. No. To do, you know, to do this, to travel around and stuff like that. And that, that was, a, you know, one of the other things that we talked with, uh, you know, a few of the other athletes as well. How do you, how do you, how do you deal with that? Um, I don't know. Like, um, my parents help me a lot. Mm. Like, yeah, they're supporting me because I'm able to stay at home and stuff with them. Yeah, I don't, yeah. I just have very supportive people, I guess. And like mm. my boss, he lets me like tra- go to training when I need to and things like that. Mm. Yeah. And um, there was the other one, you know, besides that, you were saying you actually work through the holidays as well. Oh, yeah. To try to save money um, for for the games. So, like, um, what, do you think that, like, like, that's quite a big sacrifice? Um, I don't mind, like... I like working, like I did the, yeah, I, I ran for like the rubbish trucks and stuff. Mm. And I kind of like that. I, don't, I like the fitness of it. Yeah, that's so, very full on, eh? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, a lot of fitness and like a lot of like weights for, because I was always on the glass as well. So it was quite heavy. Wow. Yeah. With the bins. Yeah. Oh, and But like it's still, it was still, it's still the smaller bins over there. I think now they're going to change it to the, the big um, bins, eh? So... I don't know how that works. Yeah, I'm not sure. You might might have to. Oh, you <laughs> might not even have to carry that anymore. 
So like if they use the big ones, obviously you're not going to be able to lift that thing because that's huge. Yeah, know? I think they have like a... The so fork yeah, the, and it picks yeah, it up yeah. and it just dumps it in there. Yeah, so that's pretty cool. Like um, uh, some, I, I think in up in Auckland, they already had those. And then um, in Hamilton, they just started sending out, or not just, but I think uh, from a month ago, they started sending out the bins. And uh, I think it should be from the end of this month or whatever, they're going to start. So that's, that's pretty cool, you know. Just, hmm. Well, it helps to um, save the environment and making an effort to, you know, uh, do better recycling and stuff yeah. like that. So that's pretty awesome. I think that's a big one, talking about waste, you know. There's so much waste as well. So it's, got, it's all got to go somewhere, yeah. you know. And but, oh, what's, what's the interesting thing about uh, um, Thames as well is I like how it's pretty quiet over there, very chilled. And um, so you you grew up in Thames. Yeah, around and there. So how do you how do you feel like you know being from a quiet kind of you know countryside living to coming to like the city you know training up Auckland? How's that How's that been for you? Um, I definitely like the countryside a lot even <laughs> in the city. Yeah. Yeah, I like the traffic's a bit hard and stuff. Mm. But like, yeah. And I understand your dad actually gets. Does he get quite involved with you, eh? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he like, I mean, he helps to, you know, like uh, bring you around and stuff like that. That's that's a lot of dedication. And that, that's what's interesting is um, with a few of the, the guys that I've spoken to, like, you know, when they first started out, like their dads have always been like a big factor um, in helping them. And um, well, it's pretty cool to see your dad, you know, like involved, helping you out and... Like, I understand he, he also gets in the ring and he, you know, puts on the glove as well. So, yeah, that, that's pretty good. Do you, do, you, do you guys, like, do, you know, training together, sparring together with your dad and, like, does he help you to train or? Yeah, sometimes, like, we do drills together and stuff mm. at home, stuff like that. I mean, he's actually, um, like, one of the trainers at the gym in Thames. At oh, Thames okay. Center. Yeah. So he's, like, he's pretty active and well-involved as well. Yeah. That's, well, that's awesome. You know, um, that was one of the things we were talking about, you know, not only just having a parent who, like, supports you, but who gets in and does it with you as well. That's, like, another thing altogether. Do you think um, if your dad uh, wouldn't have been there to push you, do you think you would be where you are or...? I don't know. I don't know if I would have like got involved with boxing. Mm. Like I think he, yeah, I kind of learned from him. Like, yeah, I, that's how I got involved with it was through him. I don't know, like if I would have decided to go that way mm. <laughs> or if I would have just kept in netball. netball. Yeah. Were, were you playing, playing for like the, uh, like the school team? Was it like the national team or something like that? Uh, no, nah, just the school team. Uh, okay, yeah. so it was kind of more... <laughs> Like a yeah. hobby. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And um, so outside of boxing, tell us, um, what do you usually get up to and uh, what do you do, you know, in your, your free time and stuff like that? Um, I don't know. I don't really, like, do too much else in my free time. Maybe really? just, like, working and training, mm. maybe, like, catching up with friends or something. Mm. But, yeah. So live, like, you'd say, you'd say you live, like, a pretty simple, easygoing life, you know, not too not too busy getting involved with a lot of stuff. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I like to run. Like, I, sometimes I do, like, a few different, like, running competitions. Like, I like that Tough Guy and Girl Challenge. Oh, I what, do what's that, that one called? Um, what's, was it the Tough Mother? Oh, that, I, that I, th one? I think it's the tough, the tough Guy and Girl Challenge. Oh, okay. I haven't done the Tough Mother yet, but oh. it sounds, yeah. I'm I think that one's a, a, was it a group one? Um, oh yeah I think that one's like a group competition I, I, I might be wrong but um, yeah I think the Tough Mother is like a group competition but yeah so Tough Guy and Girl um, yeah and like do they do that like once a year or yeah I think it's I think there's gonna be one in Rotorua in October or something oh. or there, and there, there was gonna be a one in Auckland in September but I'm not sure if that's Ooh, what's happening yeah. yeah whether that's going to go on with how everything's going. It's just pretty, it's really weird, eh? You know? Yeah. Um, yeah. And I understand you actually, right before the whole lockdown happened, um, you actually went up to Jordan. Oh, was it Jordan? Yeah. And you actually went up to Jordan and, and how did that go? Um, 
No, that was cool. I'd never been to like around Jordan or anything like that. Middle East. So, yeah. It's definitely a different experience. Yeah. How, how do you deal with the heat? Was it hot? No, it wasn't really hot. Oh. I think it was like, it was their winter. So oh, it was like, really? Yeah. yeah, a little bit chilly. Oh, that's not yeah. too bad. Yeah. I, I guess that's a good, I guess that's a good time to be because like here, you know, we're kind of used to that already here. Yeah. Like, yeah, I think some, some of the guys, they struggle with the heat when they, you know, when they go over there. Like the Middle East can get really hot and it's, I mean, over the years, it's just getting hotter as well. Mm. So it just doesn't help. But oh, well, it's a good time to be there. And and how was the event like? So did you actually have, um, did, did anyone go go through all the way or did it get stopped halfway? No, I think it went through all the way. Yeah. Okay. And so you, how many, how many fights did you have at that, at that one? Um, I just had one and I had it with, um, Mary Com. Yeah. Who's oh. quite a, she's, I think she's. Where's she from? She's from India. Mm. Yeah. She's quite a high up there one. So it was, it was oh, really? real good to have that experience. Yeah. And yeah. How, how, how did the fight go? What was the results for that one? So yeah, she bit me. Oh, but yeah. okay. <laughs> well, it's all right. You know, um. I guess, you know, it's always, um, it's just a learning experience, you know, mm. you, you you did it once. And so now you know, like what you did wrong or, you know, what yeah. you could improve on. And hopefully the next time you can beat her, you know? Yeah. Yeah. And that's, I guess that's the way how you, is that how you look at it usually or like? Yeah, definitely. Mm. It just makes me want to like get back in the ring and like try different things Come and work on game different plan. things yeah. Yeah, yeah yeah so you're pretty you must have like a lot of ideas like running in your head already yeah and um so that was just that one fight and then oh oh yeah so it's like an elimination yeah uh, okay okay and so you is there do you reckon there's going to be any more um competitions before the olympics because that one's got um from what i understand from david he was telling me the well, he, he, fortunately, he yeah. qualified. He got the ticket for it. So is there any more um, chances for you to be able to get a, a spot in the Olympics? Or Yeah, I think there's one more chance. There's like the world qualifiers. Ah, and when, like where is that? Or when is that supposed to be? It was supposed, like, it was supposed to be, I think, in Paris, like, like May this year. Yeah. But I, I yeah. think. Obviously that. Yeah, I'm not really happen. sure when it's moved to now. Oh, and also, been. oh, was it? I can't remember. Um, might have been before, or might have been. Uh, that might have been quite a wee while back. But um, I remember they had the protest going on in Paris. I didn't know. Um, yeah, that's, that's, I can't remember when that was. But yeah, they had the. Um, I think was it the. Oh, I don't want to quote wrongly, but they had like an orange or yellow vest protest or something like that. So. They all wore vests and like they were protesting against the government and stuff like that. Oh, and yeah, really? it, it was pretty full on. Like, you know, there was like, you know, they were smashing up the restaurants along that, you know, that whole street. Um, yeah, that where it goes to the um that big tower right in the middle. I don't want to say the name because I'm gonna butcher the the actual name of it. I gotta check with some of my French friends how you say it. But yeah, um, so there was like, you know, riots and you know, with the police and the people. So that was pretty crazy. You know, oh, but no, oh, I, I, I guess it might have like settled down or, you know, stopped or whatever yeah. so if they were going to organize the, you know, the world championships there. So obviously, yeah. I, I don't think it would be a good idea for like, for them to organize a, you know, a world competition, international competition. And then with that still going on, yeah, that must have been a wee while back. So look, that one's um, postponed and um, did they, have they given a date for when that's going to be or? Um, I'm not actually sure. I mm. haven't heard anything about it yet. Okay. Hey you, don't forget to subscribe, like and share this video. Other than India, um, who are some of the other fighters that you have fought? Who I've fought? Mm. Um, I've fought... Um, I'm just trying to... Think. <laughs> um, I've fought one, a couple from Spain. Um, Australia, uh, I've sparred a few from Italy. Mm. Like we, yeah, we went on a camp and we like went and done some sparring in Italy. Um, like, <laughs> I 
I fought quite a few people. I don't really mm. exactly remember where they were from. Which would you say was like, a, what would have been one of the toughest um, fights that you've had so far? Um, yeah, I'd say the one that I've just had, I just had with Mary Com. Mm, the She's Indian like, yeah. national... Um, Oh, that's pretty interesting. Yeah. And that's the most recent one as well. Yeah. She's Ooh. very skillful. Mm. Yeah. Is she, what, what kind of, uh, how would you describe, like, uh, what kind of fighter um, she was? Like, what well, kind she, of style did she have? She's self-poor like me. Oh, but yeah. okay. Yeah. She's very technical, like, her, it's her, like, yeah, her front, yeah, her lead hook. Mm. Yeah, I think that was, like, the one thing that I needed to work on because that was one thing she was getting me with a lot. Oh, yeah. okay, okay. So, time to work on it and uh, better be careful, eh? Yeah. <laughs> Tasman is going to come back a different fighter and, uh, you know, <laughs> well, and improve, upgraded version. Oh, one of, the, one of the questions that I wanted to ask, like, um, how, much, how much do you usually have to save up to go away for, like, a competition or event like this? Um, it's quite a lot. Wow. Uh, I think like, yeah, the last one was like 15,000 or something like wow, that. Wow, 15,000? I think. Whoa. But we, yeah, it was quite a long time we were away for. Yeah. Like over a month, like, or like around a month, I think we were. I think that was how much it is. Like, usually, um... Boxy New Zealand, they'll cover the cost and then we pay them back. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, it, so I've just been paying them, paying them back slowly. Wow. It's yeah. still it's still quite a lot of money. Yeah. So you'd have to, wow, you'd have to like work quite a bit to be able to cover that as well. Yeah. What about like, um, are you getting like, a, you know, besides like, you know, you funding yourself uh, and, you know, a little bit of help from your family as well. Um, do you do you have like any sponsors or any help like that? Um, no, not really. <laughs> oh, really? Okay, okay. I guess well, that might be something for you to look into, yeah. or anybody who's watching, yeah. you know, um, possibly could work towards um something like that, you know, because I guess that's the that's the other one. Like, uh, from what I know, uh, some of the other fighters, like you know, they have a little bit of sponsorships and some help as well, you know, just to make it a little bit easier. Um, yeah, because it's not cheap, you know, if you're talking about, you know, what you mentioned, like that's the amount of money that, in, you know, is involved, you know, that's quite a fair bit. Yeah. Oh, and training at um, Cameron Todd's gym. Oh, in Cameron Todd. Oh, yeah. Which, it's Cameron Todd, which is, oh, it's a different, how oh, did I get it wrong? <laughs> where's, that, where's that one? Where's that gym at? Um, it's like Glenside Crescent. Or Glenside like Eden Crescent. Terrace. Oh, at Eden Terrace, yeah. Oh, that's pretty close to where the um, the amateur boxing yeah, association ABA. is. Yeah, the yeah. ABA is. Oh, oh, okay, okay. Oh, that's pretty cool. And uh, are there a lot of other female fighters over there? Or um, yeah, there's a few. We're like different weights and stuff, but mm. like yeah, we we do a lot of sparring with each other. Oh, that's pretty good. And yeah, I guess that's uh, I guess it's good to you know spar with like different weights, sizes, and styles. Yeah, I think that helps. It, has that like helped you a lot? kind of shaped you into a better boxer, you reckon? Yeah, I think I've learned, like, different things from different people, you know, like, mm -hmm. yeah, inside, outside fighting. Uh, what would be, the, like, the main sort of lessons that you've got from boxing? Um, I think boxing's, like, really mental. And you have to, I think just, yeah, like, it's like cliche, but, like, you know, like never give up. You have to keep mm. going. Like if you get knocked down, you have to get back up again. Like, yeah, you are going to, you will fail sometimes. Like everyone loses, but it's like what you do with the loss. If you like think of it as a loss or you think of it as like a learning experience and what you want to do next and what you want to work on. Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's, oh, well, that's pretty good advice, you know. And, I would, you know, it's definitely not, um, you know, it might sound cliche, but that is actually like a real thing, you know. And um, yeah, some people actually, you know, they suffer a loss and like it just crushes them, you know. So I think like you've got to be really mentally strong as well to be able to deal with the loss. If let's say the, you know, uh, Olympics doesn't 
well, there is a possibility that it might not happen. Um, what are your plans then? Do you have a, a backup plan? Um, I don't, I'm just going to keep training. Like, I'll go for, like, I think my main goal is actually like the next Olympics, not really? actually these ones. Yeah. Wow. I think I still have like a few things that I want to critique and work on with my boxing and like want to have a few more fights, get more experience. Yeah. Mm. I feel like, you know, you are a good inspiration for a lot of the young girls out there um, who are, who might be on a similar journey to you, maybe not in boxing, but um, you know, in whatever sport that they do. Um, would you, what, what kind of advice would you give to, you know, those who are looking up to you, you know, what, what would you say to them? Um, I just, I think I'd just say, just keep working hard. Just keep at it. Like if you want something and you like, just give it a hundred percent and then yeah, you'll get it. Might not be the first time, but you'll get it. I think eventually. Mm -hmm. Thank you to everyone that's helped me mm -hmm. this far, like my coach, my family, my friends, everyone. Yeah, for all the support. Definitely, and um, yeah, we we appreciate you taking your time um, to come with us on the show today, and you know, talking to us as well. And um, you know, I hope uh, I want to wish you all the best for um, your journey and for the hopefully, if the world champs. Um, do take place and uh, hopefully you secure a spot in the Olympics, you know, and get to go for this one, you know, instead of, because you still have, technically you still have a year because uh, if it does happen, it's going to be next year. So, you know, you still have a year to go for that one. You know, you never know what you can achieve in this one. So why not, you know, give it a go as well. So I want to wish you all the best for that. And um, yeah, hopefully, um, you know, we would see you come back with another medal from that one. And um, yeah, definitely you, I'm sure that uh, not only myself, but there's going to be a lot of people out there who, you know, are supporting you, you know, those who you may or may not know and uh, who are definitely looking up to you as well, the younger generation. Yeah, we hope to see, hear some good news from you. All Thank right, you. awesome. Thank you, Tasmin. <laughs> Thanks for having me. Oh, good. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for watching this episode. Don't forget to subscribe, like and share and I'll see you on the next one.